Hi, beautiful. The other day, I was scrolling through TikTok and came across a video that was horrifying and intriguing at the same time. She was flat ironing her hair, completely wet to completely dry. She had this new kind of interesting looking tool that she was using to do this. I went on Amazon and I bought the exact same tool she used. Today, we're gonna try that tool and see if it actually works because her video does kind of look a little scammy. So I have this mysterious magical flat iron here with me today. We're about to open it and see if it actually works. Can you go from wet hair to pin straight and dry in just one step? Let's find out. Let's test this tool out. If you're wondering what that TikTok is that I'm talking about, let's watch it together. So I bought this tool and it's supposed to straighten your hair, but it can be wet. So we're gonna try it out. It's not your typical iron. So is it doing anything more than just flat ironing? Is it like drying at the same time? I don't know. My hair is still wet, wet. And if my hair burns off, this is my suing video. See, at this point, I was like, there's no way she's about to do this on her wet hair. So apparently you just take your hair. If my hair's literally wet, but not like soaking wet. And you go like, Ah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It worked. <laughs> oh, the sizzle. The sizzle scares me a little bit, especially when you know she probably didn't put any product in her hair. Like sometimes product can sizzle a little bit or steam. Her hair is just wet, but she looks amazing. It seemed like it worked. However, I noticed one little thing off about this video. She shows you the first piece she's doing and it doesn't exactly dry it or straighten it. And then all of a sudden her entire head is dried and straight. So I don't know how we got from the total wetness of her hair to totally dry and voluminous without a doubt. I'm intrigued. So let's grab this thing. <sighs> So sometimes, guys, I'm an idiot, um, and today is one of those days. Is this the same thing that she used? Absolutely not. Well, it is, but it's not the same brand. This costs $85, and the one that she's using, that one is $350. But as you can see from that screenshot and this tool right here, they are pretty much exactly identical, and I'm pretty sure they do the exact same thing. So we're gonna continue to go with this, and hopefully, maybe this will be a dupe for the really expensive one. I don't know. Okay, we have open the box and this is also called the Sutra Professional Easy Glider. How did I f that up? How did I end up with this one? I don't know. It literally is the same exact thing though. I don't see any difference. I just think the price is different, but what do I know? And the box also has me interested as well as the actual tool the girl had in that video because nowhere on here does it say to use this on wet hair. It is literally just a flat iron, but on the website, it literally just says like it's a styling comb. There's nobody who says like, I'm using this on my wet hair or any kind of directions that say anything about it being used on wet hair. I mean, okay, so there's three reviews on um, Amazon about this Soliel one. There's one that's terrible and the other ones just say it's a good flat iron, basically. There's nothing about wet to dry. So this girl is scamming the out of me right now and I'm pissed about it. We're gonna still try it because the whole wet to dry flat iron thing, I think could work. Let me show you first and then I'll explain later. She's been plugged in. Now let's see what's going on with this thing. First of all, it does feel really nice in my hand. I like that it's very compact and small. Let's turn it on. It goes from 250, 300, 350, 400, and 450. Jesus Christ, 450 is really hot. I just don't feel like that's necessary. We're gonna go to 350 and try it out there first. I don't know what the back of this thing is for. There's absolutely no directions. I think this might just be like a sort of ventilated part of the tool. It's like a flat iron in between all of these grooves. So basically it brushes your hair and flat irons at the same time. And I think you can add like body and like volume with it while you're ironing, which actually is pretty dope. People who straighten their hair would probably like that. Like they can just go like this with it and not have to clamp it down or do anything crazy. And it's probably really easy to use. Let's grab my client for today and let's try this baby out. Hi, yes, you're gonna be my guinea pig for today. Um, thank you for participating in today's trials. So we are going to just go for it. We're gonna start at the top of her head and mm, see if it sizzles off and burns and dies. Or if we get an actual nice sort of blown out looking effect even though their hair's wet. Kind of excited, kind of scared. Let's go for it. Um. Uh, oh, wait. Ah, uh, well. 
Oh, well, it's working, but is it totally dry? No, maybe I have to keep running over it. Actually, it is drying. Hold on. Hold on. This looks really good. And we went from this wet to this dry. And it feels really nice. And it's really soft. And it's really shiny. Um, this is scary, but in like a fun way. I'm very interested to see how it does the rest of the head on this side. But so far, it's actually working. I also want to try on the other side of the head a regular flat iron because I'm pretty sure they would do the same thing. And if you already have a flat iron, I don't think you have to go buy a new one, you know? I think it would work. But I also wanna say, if this does work, you guys, I am not the one who told you, and I am not the one who is endorsing this and telling everybody to use flat irons on their wet hair. It's not me. It's still scary no matter what, and I don't know what to say about it. So take everything today with a grain of salt, okay? All right, second piece. Let's see if it works out just as well as the first one did. See, that noise, it's scary. If this was a real person, I don't know how I would feel. I just don't. It also takes a lot of passes to get this sh dry. We're also only on the medium level, 350, so I'm gonna move it up to 400, um, just because I feel like we'll get it drier faster, and I am over waiting for it. Um, this tool, though, besides the fact that it's not um, supposed to be used like this, I guess, I do like the way it kind of works. Like, I like that you run it through the hair and it gives you body and movement. Also, these combs in the back kind of help you. So like, if you want to make a curl, I guess, you just kind of wrap it around and it really does stay put. It's not really creating like the best waves. You know what it is? Like it's giving me volume without it being too flat and too straight. So it's giving you more of like a blown out look instead of a really flat ironed type of moment. Like look at that volume. Every time. Every time. You can also can't see the steam because I'm on a white background, but if I weren't, you would be a lot of steam coming off because I can see it in person and it's like whoosh. It also helps if you go over on top of the hair and then underneath it after. I feel like this isn't saving me any time though. <laughs> like I still have to really take my time with it and go through every piece. Okay, so update, I'm getting tired. And I was already tired going into this video, but now I'm even more tired because this is taking forever to get her hair dry. And I have to be honest, it, it feels a little strange. Like it's adding a weird kind of texture to her hair. Like it's not soft. Okay, it looks really good on camera. The hair feels awful. It feels really bad. It feels straw-like. Um, I didn't put any product in this to start, so that might be a reason why it feels like that, but doesn't look the greatest and it feels terrible. And that took a really long time to do. I'm not understanding the appeal to this. So I am going to do the same thing on the other side of the head. I'm not gonna use my Dyson Corral because I just don't wanna ruin it. I don't know what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna use just a regular old flat iron and see how it works. And then we'll move on to my final thoughts about this product and just about ironing your hair from wet to dry in general. Okay, on to the GHD flat iron. It's weird actually using a flat iron with a cord. I'm not gonna lie, I hate it. Um, I definitely prefer the Corral. For this experiment, we're gonna use this. I don't know what temperature this is at because it doesn't tell you. It just goes to a temperature. I don't really know. This is old. I don't even know how it works, but let's try it out on the wet hair. My worst nightmare. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, that was scary. Um, Way more smoke than the other tool. Is it drying it? Yes. Is it scary still? Yes. Does it look good? No, it still looks, it looks bad. Like the other side, it looks really terrible. So I can't style the hair properly. I don't know why, but I can't like give it any bevel once it's dry. I can't do anything with it. It's just like lifeless. Okay, I'm gonna move on and do this side of the head and be horrified the entire time. Oh, hell no. Oh. That's a concerning amount of steam coming from the hair. Though it is kind of fun hearing the sizzle, but also scary. I can't tell if I hate it or love it. And Miss Manny Quinn's over it. She's like, F this get off of my head. I'm sorry, girl.
Oh, that was miserable, terrible. I hated every second of it. So this is what happened. It looks so incredibly horrible and it did not work at all. It was so hard to get it dry. It's still wet in some areas. Why does it look like that? It really looks like burnt. Like it looks crispy and fried. This side compared to that actually looks quite smooth and pretty, but in real life, I promise you, it doesn't feel smooth and pretty. Neither of them are the greatest. Neither of them I would ever recommend. But I wanna talk about why I thought this might have worked. I'm still a little confused by the whole wet to flat iron situation. Okay, so hear me out with this whole situation. The reason why I was like, this could possibly work is because if you think about fabric and the fact that we use a iron to iron the fabric, but there is water involved with that process. We use steam to iron clothes. And I know that clothing fabric is not the same as hair, but why does the fabric not burn? And why do we spray water on it? I get it, to get the wrinkles out, but what if your hair was curly? Wouldn't you want water to help get the curl out of the hair? Like a little bit of steam in there? So essentially what's going on when you go from wet to flat iron dry is you're boiling that water out of the hair hair and it's evaporating, which is also interesting because water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. The iron doesn't need to be that hot in order to get the water out of the hair, which also had me intrigued even more. You could have the iron at 200 degrees and you could probably still get the hair dry. So why can't we kind of burn off this water and have it evaporate and get the hair straight at the same time? The noise, yeah, it's scary, but I actually don't think there's anything really bad going on when you put an iron on wet hair. I really don't and I know that's crazy and it might not be accurate and if it isn't leave a comment below and tell me your explanation of why this is so bad. In my head I feel like this has the potential of working if somebody were to design a flat iron that actually works specifically for this and isn't just marketed for this. They would probably have to put certain instruments inside the iron that allow it to smooth and straighten and not burn the hair at the same time. Maybe it would be better on dry hair like it's intended to be used for. I like the fact that it was kind of a comb with the flat iron attached to it in between the bristles, but you know, I prefer a nice old flat iron than um, something like that personally. I don't know, maybe the secret is not making the flat iron so hot and taking your time with it, but by the time the hair is dry from using the iron, you might as well have just blow dried it first and then ran your flat iron through after. I just feel like the combo of both doesn't really make anything easier or save you any time on anything. So I'm gonna stick with regular flat irons for now and I'll keep you updated if any um, new findings or any cool gadgets that can do this very thing in less time. It was a cool experiment, but I hate it and I'm never doing that again. And to that girl on TikTok, I feel like you lied to us and scammed us. What the hell, girl? Explain yourself. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Click the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. This is my number. If you would like to text me, you can do so. Yes, it really does go to my phone. Yes, I really do see some of your messages. And yes, I'll be texting back a few of you guys if you text me right now. If you'd like to check out my hair care line and the color that I'm wearing, this is called Super Red, you can check out all of our color and our products on the website xmodohair.com. It is linked below for you. And also, if you want some hair inspiration, you can go to our Instagrams at xmodocolor and at xmodohair. If you like to live your extra life and wear some gorgeous merch that is so comfy, I wear it every day of my life, you can shop it at xmodohair.com. It is linked below as well. Follow me everywhere else. I am literally everywhere. If you like to keep seeing my face, you can do so with this stuff, this information all around. Me. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Oscar. Oh my God, Oscar, your hair is gorgeous. They say, any suggestions? Questions on what I should do with my hair. Leave your hair alone. It's so majestic and gorgeous. It just looks so healthy and fabulous. I'm just gonna say, I wouldn't do anything. I wouldn't do anything. And if I told you to do something with your hair, I would regret it. So Oscar, keep your hair exactly how it is. It looks phenomenal and you look gorgeous. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Oh.